Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Oswald and I'm a tactical instructor at GRIT. One thing I'd like to talk about is training like you fight. I think this is a phrase that has a lot of different meanings depending on who you're talking to. What I mean by train as you fight or train like you fight is in training or at the shooting range, um, if you're out with us at GRIT, what we're going to do is expect you to be using the tools that you carry on you every day in a personal defense situation. That means I'm not going to be carrying an M60 machine gun uh, and using that in a personal defense scenario. What I'm going to be using is the concealed carry pistol that I trust my life to. So using that pistol uh, and understanding exactly how that pistol works and the, the operation of that pistol is the most important thing in the world. I don't want to stop if I have a hiccup in training which is another thing uh, that I mean by train as you fight, where some people will have a malfunction and immediately stop and pause uh, or say, hold on, and go through a clearing procedure where they're not even paying attention to their target uh, and they act much differently than they would in a survival situation. Um, they may be switching hands with the pistol to get a better grip on however they're uh, trying to charge it or um, uh, things like that that you're definitely not going to do in real life. One of the, the biggest issues I have um, with not training as you fight is when something goes wrong or something goes unexpected, um, completely stopping with the shooting or trying to get that gun back into operation. When we stop, when we teach ourselves that it's okay uh, and make a habit out of stopping in the middle of shooting, what we're doing is, is preparing ourselves to hesitate in situations where our life may be dependent upon acting smoothly, quickly, overcoming hurdles and obstacles, and protecting ourselves and our loved ones. So when you're out, uh, take every opportunity you can during range training, as long as it's not a safety issue or, or something like that that you absolutely should and need to stop for. Um, if we have a, a failure to fire, if your magazine falls out um, because you were accidentally depressing the magazine release, something like that, absolutely use that and try to get the next magazine as quick as you can. Do that. Um, tap rack bang uh, procedure and get next round on target and make that round count. Thanks.